Hey guys, this is podcast 7.3. This is the last uh, section of the chapter. We're kind of wrapping it all up today, looking at the controls behind cell division. So we've looked at um, the entire cell cycle big picture. We focused in on division and mitosis, and now we're looking at what controls that division process because it doesn't just happen on its own. And there's a few things that can either cause cells to grow or to cause them to stop growing. And we're going to be looking at the ways they stop growing first. And when cells come into contact or when they touch other cells, okay, this is an N, sorry, when they come into contact with other cells, they stop growing. And so we're going to diagram this, okay? So down here, we're going to draw one group of cells over here on the left. I'll do the other ones in blue. Okay, so th these are like a couple of petri dishes filled with cells. And so they're constantly going through the cell cycle. They go through this process of growth. And when they get too large, when that surface area to volume ratio gets too high, they start to divide. And when they divide, okay, I'm drawing these bigger to take up a little bit more space here. Okay, they divide out from the center of that group. So these were the four originals right here in the middle. And all these are new and they're growing out from each other. And then the blue is doing the same thing on the other side. So there's the original four, and then you start growing and dividing and multiplying around. And eventually what we have is in the final stages, when it touches the side of the dish, obviously can't go any further. So we've got, you know, a whole dish full. And you don't need to draw every single little circle. This is more just for the illustration. And then these are all cells in here. But they'll stop growing when they come into contact with the blue side. So the blue is doing the same thing, growing to the side of the dish. Okay, and then you know the middle is full of cells here. But you have this nice termination line where the cells stop growing. And that's what causes them to stop, okay? Uh, so these are called external regulators because they are... Um, they, something outside the cell itself is causing it to stop. So when it runs into the side of the dish, it will stop growing. When it runs into another cell, it will stop growing. They can't take up the same space, so they don't even try to. They just, you know, kind of exist next to each other. Uh, another one, there are proteins called cyclins. C-Y-C-L-I-N. Okay, a cyclin is a protein that regulates the cell cycle. So this cyclin is in the cell, and when it's time to divide, we, it floods itself with this protein, and it, then the cells divide, and then it kind of dies down, and then it will flood again when it's time. So this is telling the cell when to divide. And this is called an internal regulator. Okay, an internal regulator. Uh, so something inside the cell itself is telling it when to grow and when to divide. So um, like humans, we grow until we're, I don't know, 17, 18 years old. Our internal regulators are telling our body we need to divide. We need to split. We need to continue to grow. Um, and then that starts to die down and you don't grow, you know, height-wise anymore. And remember, your cells are constantly dividing. Your skin cells, if you do this, you're knocking cells off. Cells are going to divide to replace those. Uh, and so internal regulators are proteins called cyclins. Molecules outside the cell are called external regulators. So sometimes there's something outside the cell that will cause it to stop growing. There will be a chemical, there will be a poison, um, or just unfavorable conditions, and it, it won't divide anymore. Uh, the last thing, and a lot of you probably already know this, but uncontrolled cell growth is called a cancer. And these masses of cancer cells are called tumors. This is a mass of growing cells. So if we look at this diagram up here again, if, let's say, the black cells were cancerous, they wouldn't stop at this blue line. They would continue to grow into that blue area. And they kind of coagulate on top of each other. They get um, sticky with one another, and we get these lumps called tumors. Um, and that's, that's pretty much the problem with cancer is that it's your own body cells that are just dividing uncontrollably for one reason or another. Uh, so part of what we're going to be doing in class is looking at different cancers and some of the treatments that there are for those and how we can kind of fight your own body to this. Um, but anyways, that, that's basically it in a nutshell. So um, cells, they have internal or external regulators. Sometimes it's a physical presence touching another cell or it's um, a chemical presence that will cause it to stop growing.